What's up, y'all? It's me, Erica, and we are down here. Peace, y'all. Take care of each other. Protect your energy. Unapologetic when we fuck up the night. Fuck up the night. We're getting fucked up tonight, and I feel like falling in love. I'm in the mood to fuck something up. We gon' fuck up the night. I feel like falling in love tonight. I'm fucking something I'm craving. Can I sit on top of you? What's up, y'all? It's me, Erica, honey. We are down here, girl. We don't have nothing to talk about, honey. But we're down here, girl. You know, go ahead and like, subscribe, comment, timestamp, do all the good things, you know. And let's talk about. We'll see what's on the blogs. You know how we do when we don't have anything else to talk about. I sponsored the, yes. now I sponsored the Let blog. Let me tell you something. All right, everybody. Let's get into... Let's get into our seats and get comfortable. I have um, no Starbucks today. I have my own thing today. All right, so let's talk about what's going on on the blog. So one of the first things that was going on um, yesterday, hold on, oh, wait a minute, girl, so one of the first things that I was talking about yesterday was um, Kanye West, right? Kanye is being dropped left and right, dropped left and right neutralized what did i say right neutralized we said that we already talked about that and it just keep going and this morning i actually heard charlemagne say that while they keep and i was like thank you for somebody actually saying it because he's not just saying anti-semitic comments he's saying anti-black comments And so there's now this thing that's going around where everybody is like, oh, now, now they want to do something when they talking about the Jewish folks, right? Because that's what you're supposed to do, right? Why they didn't do it for the black folks? What do you, what do you, what? Did you just hear what you just said? I think you better ask, think about that one again. Shout out to our girl, Eartha Kitt. Yes, I think you better think about that one again. You must think about that one again. Why are you asking another group to go up for you? Like, what that, What the hell? What? What is that about? I put on Twitter, y'all allow anti-blackness to ride because proximity to whiteness is where some of y'all, not y'all, want to be. Jewish folk don't allow it, but black folk do. It's time to take an internal audit. I don't know why any one black person would expect... Jewish people to move for them the way that they move for their culture. Because the truth is, y'all be anti-black. And y'all allow anti-blackness to ride in the black community. You don't do anything. Y'all literally had Kevin Samuels memorialized at the BET Awards. That man was, he was like a terrorist organizer. What do they call them? The leader of the terrorist sale? 
Yeah, he was like that. Like he inflicted no matter who was his audience, right? Because the audience can look like anyone. But his messaging was violent and harmful. And people acted on his messaging with violence. There would have been nowhere in no Jewish community ever would they uplift a man who spoke vile things about black women. Yes, maybe on Tuesday he said something nice. But the messaging, the underlying messaging, the of, of relationships that he affected with his messaging. And y'all memorialized him on the BET Awards where people are supposed to be honored for their excellence in whatever field. Are you saying that he's excellent at being anti-black? So let's memorialize him. There's a real problem when you're asking Jewish people. Now, if okay, go so ask. Go ask Jewish people, why don't y'all move when he's saying anti-black stuff? They will say, why don't you move? Lil Boosie, T.I., who else? Who are the other ones that be sitting on? The whole crew that sits in front of Vlad, that whole crew. Y'all give, y'all lift them up. Nick Cannon, prop them up. Dr. Dre, there's no way. It, it, I, there's no way. But you can't, you can't like back up a people who take so much pride in the degeneracy of their community. Like they don't, what, what does no snitching mean, right? We're not, stop snitching. That means when you're seeing something that shouldn't be happening in your community, don't say anything or we'll terrorize the community. Y'all let that fly. The baby, another one, another terror, terrorist. Tory Lanez, another terrorist. I, I'm using them as an example. They're just examples. But y'all let shit right. R. Kelly, y'all got people like, really like, free R. Kelly? Like what? Y'all let the most vile, low, vibrating behaviors ride. You let them ride. You let them ride. Now, I haven't heard. Now, tell me if you've heard. I haven't heard. I haven't had. I haven't heard any anti-black or anti-African American defamation league or anti-discrimination league for black people come out and speak against Kanye when he said the things that he said. Do you think that if Kanye was a Jewish person, listen to this, if Kanye was a Jewish person and sat in a on a public platform and said that the Holocaust was the choice, the Holocaust was a choice, do you think that Kanye West would have been able to live? Do you think so? If he was Jewish, right? Because he even said in one of his interviews, I'm Jewish, so I can say these things. In other words, I'm black, I can say anti-black stuff. I'm Jewish, I can say anti-Semitic things. No, you can't, sir. That don't work over here. That formula only works amongst black people. Yeah. I haven't heard anybody any organizations come out. I, I don't know, maybe did the Black Lives Matter organization come out? I know they only focus on police brutality and straight black men. But since Kanye said something, I mean, he's a straight black man, maybe they would have said something. I know it doesn't have anything to do with police brutality. But did they say anything? Did any black quote unquote so-called leader? Because yeah, because T.I. said on a, a platform the other day three weeks ago and said he was a leader like this man this man that has allegations against him for taking people's 
phones and not allowing them to call out and, and drugging them and doing things to them. Allegations against him for stuff like that. Him and his wife. And he has the audacity and the nerve to say publicly that he's a leader. You think that a Jewish man would be able to be moving like that within the Jewish community? Talking like that? So while Kanye said, oh, I'm jealous, I'm jealous, I'm jealous. And I want to be the, the Jewish community. Y'all want to be, oh, we got to move like them. Y'all don't, y'all, y'all, the value set is different. What they put value in and what they make sure is held with high regard and that you never forget. A lot of you niggas shit on within your culture. Y'all don't even, I mean, like anti-blackness runs through because you, your desire, your your this, the lure of whiteness infects so many black people. And that's just the truth. That's just the truth. So you get anti-blackness and because you guys use the measure of success to be white, that's where you're striving to. So you, of course, you're not going to have any love for blackness. Of course, you're going to let anti-black statements ride anti-woman statements right anti-black woman statements ride you you will continue to give tory lanes trey songs ti boosie i mean i can pull up a blog and we can just go through the names y'all continue to give them platforms you continue to give them faces if they were jewish men in the jewish community moving like that they wouldn't have a face so what you put value in as a community, those people don't put value in. So maybe if y'all moved in a way that show them we don't deal with this kind of stuff, that's neutralized. Like Charlemagne was saying, they need when these athletes are putting out their statements, they should include anti-black. Yeah, but no, but y'all y'all allow anti-blackness. So y'all, what is happening is because of his anti. Semitic statements. Yes, he was anti-black. He's been anti-black, but nobody moved when he was anti-black. Like, and then y'all when and then once they say something anti-gay, everybody's still confused, right? Because the value system is different. What we value and what we will shut people down for, y'all don't shut people down for it. So while, yes, when they say something anti-gay, shut his ass down. Say something anti-Semitic, shut his ass down. Say something anti-black, memorialize him. On the, on the BET stage, on the Black Entertainment Television Awards stage. Yes, I know that BET is not black owned. I know that. That's, I mean, I mean again, <laughs> to another point. But the truth is, there are too many black people who are anti-black and their ideas of success and and you know uh, ele elevation is to be close to white people so if you have a disdain or uh, intolerance for your own blackness you're not going to stand up when somebody's anti-black but then you're going to be confused when this anti-black man starts saying anti-semitic things and then he's he's neutralize. I told y'all that. Let him keep talking. He's going to he's going to touch the right social construct. He's going to touch the right one. Ghost Rider. And that's true. That's what happened. So, Adidas dropped him. Um somebody was like <laughs> Somebody was like, um, Foot Locker, Foot Locker said they are taking Yeezys out of store. Somebody was like, Yeezys weren't even in there. It's like, yeah, they're just saying, girl, if he, if we did carry them, we wouldn't, <laughs> cause we carry tennis shoes. So we wouldn't, we wouldn't carry them. Everybody's jumping on the bandwagon, but it's funny because no black person has come out and said, you know what? I'm leaving good music because of, of Kanye West anti-black statements saying that, um, uh, saying that this misinformation about abortions that he's always spouting off. Y'all allow it. 
how, how you going to ask somebody to stand up for you and y'all don't even, you don't even stand up for yourself? Girl, what? You let this shit ride. We don't let this shit ride. Maybe if you had the same value set, we could ride for you. But no. Y'all glory. Look at, look at what y'all, we give y'all money to, and like to Kanye's point on drink champs. If I'm saying this against black people, don't nobody move. He said it. He said it. I can say this. I can say do drugs. I can say smoke, reefer, drink, lean, all the things you want to say. Kill your friends, all this. And then and the crazy part is when these crazy degenerate, like when these public figures that come out, any anything, these weird old niggas be in jail, y'all say free them. That's what y'all say, free them. So where it just your value system is not where the Jewish community's value system is. Y'all don't value the same things. I'm not going to back you up and we don't have the same value system. Now, whatever, whatever they got going on in the community is in the community. But when it's um, like, you know, I'm sure they have their issues. You know what I'm saying? Um, but when it comes time, when you when somebody outside of the group starts saying things. Yeah, y'all memorialized Kevin Samuels. That's like that's like memorializing Osama bin Laden at the Super Bowl. Girl, no, we're not doing that. <laughs> Girl, <laughs> seriously. A, t- a, a, a smooth terrorist, honey. Y'all memorialize him. And the, but the crazy part is your so-called leaders are like, he, you know, he was just a little harsh. He was just a little harsh. Maybe it didn't come out right. Girl, what? The bullet didn't come out right out of the gun. The bullet didn't come out right. Girl, shut up. But y'all did it. That's what y'all want. Why do black people and black organizations allow black public figures, celebrities, and entertainers to be anti-black without consequence? That's what these blogs... That's what these blogs need to ask themselves. Like, constantly interviewing Boosie and putting it out there. Y'all think Vlad is some type of agent yeah he's exposing the degeneracy and the mindset of your so-called leaders these niggas that sit on his fucking uh, across from him because they so happy that's it they so happy to be across from a white dude sharing themselves and being vulnerable right about what's going on and how they feel and then they expose their nasty wicked disgusting minds and it's just sitting there archived for the next generation to see, like, this is the niggas they was listening to? These niggas was calling themselves leaders? Look at how they talk about women. They, like, clearly don't like women. And people are, like, cheering them on and supporting them? What? Wow. Nobody's pulling them out? They're still get, giving him interviews? Why is Tory Lanez being interviewed? Oh, to give him a voice. Why would you give somebody like that a voice? It's like you want to, you want to give, I don't know. It's like you want to, I don't know. It's just very odd. It's very odd. Right. The fact that Kanye thinks he can make anti-Semitic statements because he says he's Jewish is him applying how black people can be anti-black and still thrive among black people. It's true, honey. Yeah, Kanye getting, Kanye's getting dropped from everything. Okay, let's go to the blogs. <clears throat> Hollywood Unlocked. Let's see. Shout out to Hollywood Unlocked. Let's see what's happening. Can't stop, won't stop. Kanye West, Donda Academy basketball team scrapped from playing at major high school tournament over Ye's anti-Semitic comments. 
Girl, listen. What's on? What just came on? That's crazy. When it all falls down, that just came on, y'all. That's crazy. That's crazy. It all falls down, honey. Kanye West may want to consider reconsider his decisions of not wanting to apologize for his anti-Semitic remarks because according to reports, his Donda Academy basketball team is now being affected by his recent controversies. According to TMZ, the Scholastic Play-by-Play Classics have confirmed that they have given Donda the boot um, from this season's schedule, consequently meaning they will not get to participate in their sports events this year. It's a it's a pretty huge deal considering the play by play is a number one bas- high school basketball event company in the country that has five national locations with the likes of Kobe Bryant, LeBron James, Kevin Durant all having previ- previously played there prior to landing their big break in the NBA. It is said that Donda basketball team was initially expected to play in a match on December 11th in Louisville, but those plans have been scrapped. Now it's affecting the, uh, you know, it's affecting everybody. And it's so crazy. And it's like, it's so crazy that that's the name of the school. It's like uh, in your mother's name and you're just out here just like got your mom's name on this school while you sit there and say you don't read and all this other stuff. And girl, it's a mess. Um, girl, so that's it for, that's it for the basketball team child. I don't know what else to say. Shanti claims Irv, Irv Gotti told her he made her fuckable. I think Irv Gotti is so disgusting. He just reminds me like the image that I get is like it's a like cartoon drawing right it's a cartoon it's a drawing of a like the image of you know when you think about the word wife beater like the tank top and it's just like this fat man with this this wife beater on that has like stains on it and it's like his like hair is coming out the top of the wife beater and his stomach looks like he swallowed a fucking goat. You know what I'm saying? And his underarm hair, you could see it from under his armpits. That's just, and his like, he has like a boil on the side right here. That's what, that's what Irv Gotti looks like to me when I see him. That's the image that I get. Like a dirty, old, grimy, miserable, bitter, old, fat, greasy, dirty, dingy, wife beater, wearing man. That's what he reminds me of. That's what he reminds me of when I see him. Bitch, that's a lie. Y'all lying. Adidas will reportedly continue to sell Yeezy designs without the name. Oh, shit. Adidas reportedly plans to sell existing Yeezy products designs using its own branding after cutting ties with the rapper and designer Kanye West. According, girl, I'm ready to go right now. That's my song, honey. I need to turn that back on. According to analysts at Morgan Stanley and RBC Capital Markets, Adidas will start selling the product solely under the company's brand at the top of the year. Looking ahead on our understanding, the company will not sell any Yeezy branded products and all Yeezy products will be branded under the Adidas brand, Morgan Stanley analysts said in a statement to clients on Tuesday. That's what um, Azalea Banks says. She said he didn't, how can stuff be taken away from you so easily? You didn't, you didn't own it in the first place. And that's another thing. It's like, oh, Bluetooth audio. Sorry, girl. Yes. Okay. Yes, there we go. Um, like, well, well, 
What are you doing, dude? <laughs> you can't do nothing but laugh. Because you know what? This is it. Like Ebro posted on his um on his IG, like they've seen this. The, the, the ancestors have seen this. Like this, this this black man who wants to be so close to whiteness and how it just crashes and burns. And like and in in I agree with Charlemagne when he said it was very it was full of ego for you to say Adidas, knowing the Adidas history, that they wouldn't drop you for saying anti-Semitic comments. Like, you're not, that's not smart at all. Some people would say, saying that it's self, he's self-sacrificing, self-sabotaging, whatever it is, I just think he needs to go sit down somewhere and just, like, do whatever you need to do, but... Stop looking to black people to help you, to propel you to your, you know, heights of, you know, whiteness. You want to be up there with whiteness. You need black people to help you. No, 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 no. That, no. And for y'all who's saying like, oh, now they want to, now they want to move into action because of, you know, it's Jewish people. Yeah. You know, y'all have a different, the communities clearly have a different value set, right? There's some things y'all will take. Honey, y'all be saying free niggas that have, like, terrorized communities. (laughs) Like, we don't have, we're not the same. We are not the same. We're not the same. Um, girl, Antonio Brown released a statement that he will remain president of Donda Sports. Another delusional nigga. Just another delude. They're like, it's, I don't know, girl. I don't know what to say. And like I said, like, like pull up any dude and like, how are you saying black people don't move into action when you pull up these niggas that are just anti-black, anti-woman, they just whack. Like the whole little crew is whack. All of them whack, whack. And then when they're decent, when they're decent, when they're decent, y'all call them simps and say they're not black enough, right? right? So yeah, we are not the same. That's what the Jewish people are looking at black people like, girl, we're not the same. We're not the same. Do you think some, a Jewish man would be able to stand up on any platform or would even dare to stand up on any platform and say the Holocaust was a joke or was a choice? And we would still see him every time, everything he do. And we would still see him. It says, Ashanti addresses Irv Gotti's claims that he slept, that they slept together. Irv has flat out lied about a lot of things. Okay, I'm going to watch this and we'll talk about it. Because Ashanti's wig was looking crazy. But we'll we'll talk about it um, um, maybe tomorrow or something. Right. Okay. So this is on, I guess this is a video about Kanye, honey. Um, Scotty beam with a tweet. She weighs in on the controversy surrounding Kanye West wish being anti-black held this much weight. Right. Right. After this nigga said slavery was a choice. They were harmonizing to his church Negro spirituals directly after taking selfies in a PJ to rub elbows with a nigga who thinks your ancestors are big jokes. Is she lying? Is she lying? Did she lie? Did she? She didn't lie. Honey, it's a lot of, it's a lot of nothing going on. Okay, let's go to the Jasmine Bram. What time is it? Hit the floor. It's a rolly, not a shit. Don't ever. Nene discusses lawsuit against Bravo, her relationship with Candy. I just don't think she likes my presence. Maybe I'm looking at it wrong. Maybe y'all do, but it's just on the show you don't. No, I mean, honestly, I don't have an issue with Candy. I, this is the God honest truth. I really feel she has an issue with me. Okay. And 
I, you know, I don't want to speak too much about what I think the issue right. is because I think she has an issue with me. I'm, I'm an original housewife. Yeah. I feel like that was an issue. Uh, I feel like I was noticed a lot. You know, a lot of people, I'm not saying this. Yeah. People say it all the time. When we think of the Real Housewives of Atlanta, we think of NeNe. Yeah. And I think things like that didn't sit well with her. Because um, yeah, she is competitive. She's very competitive. Yeah, yeah. And I'm not competitive like that. Yeah. I don't I don't see the purpose. I feel like um I don't know. I feel like her issues with me. I don't have an issue with her. Yeah. I don't know if she, I don't know. Yeah, I understand because I I couldn't understand it either. And I think she's mm -hmm. great at what. She does. A lot of people, you know, thought that we would get along. I, I don't yeah. have a. If I saw her, I would speak to her. Yeah. Um, I just don't think she likes my presence. BravoCon, were you invited? I was Bro not invited. Hold on a minute. You were not invited to Bravo. So, Nene is lying. I feel like Nene is not telling the truth because I don't like when Nene does that. That's the part that, that's the thing that bothers me about Nene. It's like, maybe now that Candy has been more vocal, you know, Candy has been, you know, down like a lot, making a lot of content, you know, doing a lot of things. I don't know. What, I don't know. I don't know. I think she's just joining the fun. Maybe. I don't know. Um, but yeah, Nini has always had a problem with Candy. Candy and Nini have always had a problem with each other from the beginning. And I've always had a theory. I just thought that Nini thought like they just did. She didn't like her personality the way that Nini thought she was better, better than that. She thought Nini thought that she was the queen of the show. Like Candy didn't like that um, at all. I felt like Candy didn't like that. I also felt like Candy when she kind of sided with Kim in that and she didn't even have to take a side but for and for her helping Kim with that tardy for the party thing and then that's why I think it turned out the way it did with Kim and Candy because I feel like Candy did it in to spite Nene I don't feel like she was really trying to help um Kim and that's why when it turned out when the thing with tardy for the party turned out the way it did between Kim and Candy I was like yeah I figure because that you didn't that that wasn't right that whole little situation everything that they the way they went about doing that they it was not the right i don't know it wasn't right the whole thing was wrong that's why the whole thing was wrong um i don't think kim has ever paid her money to candy or gave her her cut or whatever the hell but i was like mm, girl see that's what happens when you was doing that stuff you you didn't i felt like she just didn't she just doesn't like nini and i feel like nini doesn't like her and it's just like you think you better than um and so girl i don't like you and you know they always talk slick to each other it's always something it's always like a bit of tension between nini remember that time um i think it was the season seven where they all had on the white and nini was crying about her mom and they all got up and kenya was telling candy come on candy come on let's hug nini right she needs us candy was like for what <laughs> And remember when they were at Dr. Um, what's his name? Oh, same same situation, same season, where she was like, let's take a picture when Nene got up and stormed out, right? Remember she stormed out of, of the little therapy session. And they were like, let's take a, let's make a video and send it to Nene. And, and Candy was like, y'all so kindy. <laughs> y'all so fake. Y'all so fake. <laughs> Taking the picture, y'all remember that? So she don't fuck, she don't like, she don't fool with Nene. You know what I'm saying? They don't fool with each other, and I think it's because she didn't like, she don't like Nene's attitude. Like you think you better than people, girl. You know, and it might be a little competitive competitiveness, but I think it's more so a personality clash. That's what I think. That's what I think. Um, it's a personality clash, and, and it's like. You doing the most and, and, and Candy doesn't play. They don't play well together. Like you doing the most, like girl, whatever. Candy's going to do a lot of eye rolling when Nene is, you know, on her doing like her performances and stuff and being funny and, you know, and also the personalities are different. Like the personalities are different. Like I, what, I'm not gonna say anymore. 
but you know, like, I don't know. The personalities are th- are different. Like, even like in like that that clip with Nene doing Cuff It and she was with her hairstylist and the makeup artist and she was telling the people to come down to L- Lanithia. Just that little clip right there was like all like, it was just like a, a charisma. She just has a personality. Nene is just, I don't know. And it, it doesn't, to me, that some people may not like that. She just commands a room. When I walk into a room, she when she walks into the room, she owns it. When I walk to the room, I definitely own it. What she say? <laughs> Remember when she walk into the room, she own it. When I walk into the room, I definitely own it. What did Nene say? Y'all, I don't remember the quote, but for real, Nene just has that personality. Like she just has a personality about her, and it doesn't come. It's not the same. Candy is not the same. It's a different person. It's a totally different personality, and they get on each other's nerves. And I don't believe Nene when she says she don't have a problem with Candy. Candy gets on her nerves. Like, and I think she knows that that's what I'm saying. I don't like when they be lying like that. Just tell the truth. Nene does that too much from my taste. I don't like it. I don't think she likes my presence. She said, I'm going to listen to the rest of this. I made you, I did. I made the world want to fuck you. You know what I'm saying? Um, He would say, you know, (laughs) he would say, um, you know, niggas want to fuck you because I made you look like that. I made, I made you fuckable in those exact words. So can you imagine, can you imagine that this is somebody's dad? Can you imagine listening that's what i'm saying when when the war the music industry like the me too movement ran through television and film wait till it gets i I don't understand like that's that's another thing that goes to the the point the very beginning these men within these industries can you imagine that being your dad and hearing how he talked to women and how like and then why is it that men want to be like I made you like what the fuck dude that is so weird and be like I made you I made people want to have sex with you like what the hell what like and like what makes you what is in your in your system that makes you want to say that out of your mouth to a person as a way to feel like, like I, like I'm proud of that. And you didn't, you didn't have anything to do with it. I'm a man and I made it so that other men would want to have sex with you. That's somebody's dad. I would be so ashamed. I would be so ashamed. Disgusting. Irv Gotti. Tamika Mallory opens up about her addiction. What addiction? Let's see. I couldn't sleep. And the person mentioned to me that they had been take that they take this pill uh-huh. and they sleep. Yeah. And I was like, wow, man. I want to sleep. Well, yeah. I would appreciate that. Yeah. Um, and they gave me one. Mm-hmm. And I took it, and at the, that particular, that was Xanax, okay, right. And then I went to the doctor, and I got a prescription for Xanax. Mm-hmm. And then the Xanax wasn't enough. I mean, you know, the doctor wouldn't increase the, the, the dosage, yeah, the, the dosage yeah. exactly. Um, and then the next thing you know, I was in the process of taking the Xanax and opioids back to back, just trying to figure out what to do because as you, as anyone who's ever been caught in the sort of the disease of addiction, right? it just gets worse. Like, yeah. you, you know, you start off a half a pill and now you're at one, two, three, four, yeah. five. Yeah, it gets higher. It, yeah, exactly. So it was just a, a wow. nasty cycle of me just popping pills all day, trying to numb my mind, my mind. I mean, I don't know if you can imagine that every second of the day I was, having to answer questions, having media contacting us with the news story, uh, you yeah. know, we, we're, we're, 
um, we're misappropriating money. Some person came up with a story about what they think we said, what we mean. White women upset about why we want to bring the issues of race into a dialogue about women's rights. Right. Um, I mean, it's it a lot of pressure. A lot, and still, my son. I'm still, you know, also um, trying to be a mom. Um, wow. It was a lot. And, and 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 by the way, a lot of folks don't understand that you're not just. Um, you're not just hearing it all and sort of dealing with it. I have to make decisions. Like, yeah. there are people yeah. depending on me to make the right decisions, to say the right thing. Yeah. It's a lot of pressure. You don't, there, no one can prepare you for it. Yeah. It's not that, you know, it's not that kind and of thing. And I feel like everyone calls on you. Well, yeah, but at this time, yes, I still deal with it. And I, you know, and, and I do as much as I can, which I'm getting much better, getting older, you know, can't do it. You know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Boundaries and all of that. But at that time, we were leading one of the biggest global movements for women since the feminist movement. But even more, we didn't, the, the, no march has ever had the amount of women that the women's march brought together. Women and our allies, families, loved ones. Yeah. Ever. It was the biggest in history. That's yeah, the only people that you should be around are but ally, yeah, well, allies for women. People who want to oppress women, they knew it. They could see it. Mm. And they were creating confusion. So one day, um, you know. I and they were creating confusion. Did I tell you the niggas was agents of chaos and confusion? But anyways, that's sad. Tamika Mallory, I'm glad you've gotten off the, the pills and stuff because, girl, that's a mess. Numbing it because all the things that she has to go through. Mm, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot, girl. I'm glad she's better. I don't have anything else to say. It's a lot of pressure. For what? girl that's like that's that 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 crew i don't even i can't that is a that's a ministry that i don't i've it it's never it just has never really resonated for me and i feel like there's an ecosystem and there's a way that things have to work and that area of all that stuff that all of that is not my area i'll leave it to the girls because that's not there, I see no reciprocity. I see no reciprocity. I don't. So that's ne every time I was like, I would try to like, I was like, this doesn't resonate with me at all. It doesn't, it doesn't feel right. That doesn't feel right at all. This is not, this is not my ministry. Right. You know, you know, when you're like in your, in your, in your journey and you're like, okay. And then like, you have to be mindful too. You know, I have pinned on my Twitter page, um, just because we share identity doesn't mean we're in community, right? And so sometimes you see people who look like you and you're like, oh, okay, let me go over here. And you're like, mm, nah. <laughs> ah, no, I don't think so. It's not, this is not, this is not the group of people who look like me. Um, I, I can't be in community with them, right? And it's the truth just because we share identity doesn't mean we have to be in community, right? You have a different outlook on things. You have a different mission, right? You have a different purpose, right? That's why you have to be in community with people who have the same purpose, who are like-hearted as well as like-minded. You don't have to agree to everything, um, but you have the same kind of like, okay, this is what the mission is right? It really is like, it really is like that. It really happens like that. And you're like, okay, that's not my group. See y'all. <laughs> it's been real. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So that like all that, 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 um, that where like you have to use the word fight in your daily language. Um, but then at the same time, I have so many criticisms of that because it's like with the new generation, there are still old, um, old things that are being spoken over people. And I feel like, are you, that, and then, and then at some point I felt like 
oh, y'all need for this to continue like this or otherwise you wouldn't have anything to fight for. So there's a, there's a, you have to, you have to participate to a certain extent. Otherwise you wouldn't, you wouldn't have, you know, when they, I have to get up every morning and fight, you know, and it's like, oh, you need, you need for it to continue because otherwise you wouldn't have anything to fight for. And I'm like, I can't be in a space. It doesn't resonate with me. Um, to be in a space where people are always fighting for something. Like I can't, I can't, that doesn't feel good to my spirit, my spirit. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? So that's it. Um, so what do we talk about, honey? Yeah. Tamika Mallory girl, get yourself together. Um, I'm glad you are talking about it and being honest about it. And, um, Hopefully you stay on the right right track. Hopefully you stay on the right track, girl. Oh, girl. (laughs) Girl. Uh, Let's see. Kim Zosiak Beerman. Girl, look at this. Kim Zosiak Beerman loses $2.6 million mansion to foreclosure. Property, property, what? Property, 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 property to be auctioned off next month. Girl, ain't nobody reading all of that. Um, Former RHOA star Kim Zosiak Beerman is seemingly missing the house from her housewife title. <laughs> Y'all so messy over there at the Jasmine brand. Kim Zosiak Beerman and her retired NFL player husband, Croy Beerman, reportedly failed to pay back $300,000 loan after the reality series Don't Be Tardy ended. Unfortunately, the unpaid loan has resulted in the couple's home being taken away. According to a recently surfaced notice of sale under a power document, Kim Zosiak Beerman's Atlanta mansion, which consists of five bedrooms and six and a half bathrooms, has been foreclosed and is up for sale. You know what? What's wild is the fact that they let that show go on for so long and the ratings were so low. I think Kim thought she was going to be like, I don't know, maybe she thought she was going to be the next Kardashians or something like that. Like they were just going to keep having babies and that house was just going to get full of babies and people were going to be interested in their girl and their antics over there. I don't think people are interested at all. The document notes that the couple's dream home, which they purchased in December of 2013, was foreclosed upon because of, among other possible events of default, failure to pay, and indebtedness. What? Damn, girl. Andrew Caldwell says, that's not true. I just talked to my friend, girl. (laughs) Girl, what is this notice of sale then, um, Sister Caldwell? What is this notice of sale with Croy Evan Beerman and Kim Zosiak Beerman? Yeah. Said property will be sold subject to outstanding ad valorem taxes, including taxes which are a lien but not yet due and payable, the right of redemption of any taxing authority, any matters which might be disclosed by any accurate survey and an expectation of the property. Girl, this house is being sold, honey. They got all the information up here. Foreclosure, a hotline. Yep. The sale will be conducted subject to confirm that the sale is not prohibited under U.S. Bank Corruptcy Code. Alpharetta, Georgia, child, people don't, then people like to give the illusion. They don't really be having money. That's crazy. And then if they have it, they don't want to pay or they're like spending it, spending it, spending it. I don't know. Anyways, y'all got to go take care of each other, protect your energy. Let's get down in the comments. Peace.